Gao from China makes sandwiches here at Towers Dining Hall. He is one of the very few international students at Boston University who has a job. Ever since Gao arrived in America, he has been working hard. Not for money, but to get a social security number. If you do not have a social security number, uh, it will be very difficult for you to apply a credit card in the bank or it you, you will also have some trouble when you want to sign a contact with T-Mobile or, or Verizon. In response to the September 11 attack, the Social Security Administration started requiring international students to have a job in order to apply for a Social Security number. Go got a job and his Social Security number. He is very lucky. Towers Dining Hall helps students get the Social Security numbers instead of requiring them to have these numbers in advance like most employers do. And that's why for many international students, things just don't work out. Ellen Linick is the store manager of Campus Convenience Store at Boston University. Every semester, hundreds of international students beg him to hire them so that they can get social security numbers, but he just can't help. Well, you need a social security number in order to work in the United States, especially here. The international students coming now are under the gamut. They are not coming with a social security number. And what happens is they have to have a job, and then when they get a job, they can apply for their social security number. Used to be the process would be no more than a few days. Now it's weeks. And unfortunately, it's, it's not a type of job that I can wait. International students are only allowed to work on campus. But on campus job opportunities are very rare and usually require a social security number to be paid. Jean Kelly, the director of International Students and the Scholars Office, found it's very unfortunate for international students. I wish the government would communicate with private companies uh, and explain that the social security number is designed specifically for employment and taxation so that international students wouldn't be in the middle trying to communicate that to the private companies. The U.S. government is now reluctant to give out social security numbers because the September 11 hijackers all have this card and therefore were able to be a part of a regular American life. This policy is necessary for homeland security, but it does make it difficult for international students and often inconvenient to domestic companies. I'm Chowen Sen for J 7 11 in Boston.